Hello! If you've ever joined a multiplayer game and wondered how the mission editor has done something in that game um, and wanted to find out how, this video is about showing you how you can find out. And what we're going to look at is getting the PBO that you download when you join a multiplayer game and we're going to look at unpacking that and put it into your editor. So, what we are going to do is, first of all, look at where the actual PBO you download when you join the mission is saved to. And we do that by pressing start. Uh, we go to computer. We go to C drive. We go to users. Then we go to our username. What we're looking for is the app data file, and that's actually hidden by default. Um, and if I just press spacebar there, I can see mine because I've been to it previously. But essentially, all you need to do is type in the top bar your uh, sorry user forward slash your username for Windows, and then app data, and you'll get this previously hidden file. Uh, then we want to go into local. Once we're in local, we want to go to Armor 3 or Armor 2, whatever you want, whatever you're playing at the moment. And we go to Mission Caches. And in this Mission Cache folder here, you'll see all the games you've joined recently. So, let's see, date modified. This is probably the most recent one that I've joined. Uh, one of the VCB, Volunteer Commando Operations. So I'm just going to copy and paste that to my desktop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a program called PBO View, and I'll uh, give you a link to get this program. And all PBO View does is it unpacks the PBO and allows you to use it in the editor. So open that. Um, we're going to click Unpack, and we'll go to the desktop, and we can see down at the bottom there, op disgruntled badger free. A very classy named mission. <laughs> and you can see up in the top left here that the PBO view has created a new folder. And within that is all the information uh, that the mission makers added. So after we've got that, I'm pretty sure you all know what to you do. You've got documents. You go to armor free of the profiles, you go to your username, missions, and you just drop that in there. And what you can do now is you can go into the editor, you can open up um, the mission, and you can look at how they've done things. Now, I'm not suggesting that people go and copy and paste massive chunks of other people's missions, but this is a good way to learn how to do things. And when I first started, it was definitely one of the most useful things that I learned to do. So just keep in mind that uh, people do put a lot of work and effort into their mod scripts and add-ons. Hopefully this has been useful to you. If you have any other PBO-like programs that are good for opening uh, PBO files, uh, drop them in the comments as well, because I only ever use PBO view, but I know there are some limitations to it. Uh, some files it won't open. Drop them in there and I'll add them to this, the description of this video and then other people can have a look at those programs and open PBOs with them. Thanks for watching and goodbye.